Hi everyone, Miss White Wolf here. I just wanted to do a really quick video on uh, my ancestor garden and how I'm actually going to be using it for my Father's Day offerings to my ancestors. So as I had mentioned in my previous video, not only am I using um, this garden for herbs that I'm going to be using uh, in a magical or holistic purpose as well as probably well, obviously culinary um, but I'm going to be using this garden for my ancestor offerings and Father's Day is tomorrow so I have uh, some items here that I have put in my garden for to honor my ancestors sorry there's my leg uh, for um, Father's Day but also I have here uh, some crab shells and the reason why I have those here is that I want my ancestors to infuse it uh, with some protective energy and calming energy because I will be using those shells um, once they've been infused with that energy not for this garden uh, the, well the other shells but I will be using those shells over the year uh, for spell work so I could be using it in um, a, a charm bag or I could be uh, crushing it and rolling my candles in it or putting it on top of tea, uh, tea, sorry, tea lights, you know, um, that type of thing. Because crabs, uh, crab legs, or legs rather, crabs are actually quite protective, uh, and because they go between the water and the uh, the sand, they have a good hold on emotions. So they help with um, help to keep your emotions calm. Uh, that's the correspondence that I associate with the crab, and that's what I use it for. So um, I will be crushing up these uh, crab body parts and uh, using them for that. I had picked these up um, uh, recently uh, at the beach. Um, they were just left behind from seagulls, so they're there for the taking. So I picked them up and took them for that purpose. Anyhow, as you can see, I've got an offering, which is... Uh, a chocolate chip muffin that I had made uh, and then I've got a glass of rum um, so it's good to leave um, I like to leave a sweet treat something that's a bit of, a bit of an indulgent um, for my ancestors you know like for Mother's Day I left some chocolates so this is good for Father's Day uh, to me uh, it's you know when you think about the fathers in your life it's usually well, or, or, you know, your grandparents or your great uncles or, you know, what have you, they are usually, they like sweet treats. So I, I like to leave them for them. And rum, well, there's nothing wrong with a vice, leaving a vice for your ancestors. Uh, alcohol holds a lot of energy. Uh, you know, if you take the emotions out of it, uh, you know, it's something that a lot of people have enjoyed. And, you know, you, you have a drink with friends uh, or you have a drink to, you know, sometimes... Uh, it can bring you back to center, provided that you don't uh, go overboard. But anyhow, that's an emotional hold that alcohol could have over you. But I'm, I'm not, I'm not putting anything to that emotion. So I'm leaving this uh, as an offering today for my ancestors, and I also have a glass of water here. Um, I like to leave water for my ancestors as well, and plus it's for the garden. So you know. Um, if I have a little bird that comes that needs a little drink, or you know, hopefully a butterfly at their Hopefully they go for the water rather than the rum. Anyhow, so that's kind of a little quick peek at my Father's Day uh, offering and my ancestor garden and what I'm using it for on Father's Day. I hope that uh, you, if you have any fathers that are watching this video with you, that they have a wonderful day. Um, and that if you decide to um, honor your the fathers in your ancestor line, uh, that you do something similar. It feels great to work with your ancestors. They, they want nothing but love for you, and they want you to succeed. So uh, it's good to give back to them. Anyhow, have a wonderful day, everyone. Blessings.